But how the hell do mice actually get into your van? I've got a friend. You've got a friend. friend, finally. There's a female mouse. I'm in love. Because he's broken the toaster. So. so let's do that next. Well done, Becky. That was a good idea to do that. It's nothing like I've ever seen. I mean, it's just got like, rubbery. Perfect. In three months' time, when it comes to wiring it up, I know what the wires do. I hope it's not three months' time. <laughs> you see how well thought out this is, can't you? <laughs> Brilliant, have a look at this. See how nice that fits up there. Look, there's no gap at all along that edge. I'm really pleased with that. So now all I've got to do is the sight. I want to try and get this edge here nice and this so this will butt up against this. So this has got to be really square. That's why I tried to make this square by using this piece of timber underneath. This does work. Still tight. But before I screw this into place, I actually want to put some down lighters underneath here so I can have light coming down from underneath and lighting this panel up. So let's do that next. Ooh. Now the only experience I've got with this sort of LED strip lighting is in my Mercedes Sprinter. I've brought it, um, yeah, it's like a one meter length with a multicolored remote and it was really easy to plug in and play. But this stuff that Becky brought is just 12 volt. And it should just glow white. I don't think there's any fancy remote for it. So I'm hoping that the red and the black is just simply the positive and the negative. And along the length of this, there seems to be these little joins. There's, it's joined there. You can see the little bit of solder. If this will focus. Will it focus? Ah, oh, there you go. You can see this LED. It's like a soldered join in the actual strip. So I'm guessing that these four dots here is where you actually cut the strip. I'm hoping that this is so long, it'll be enough to do both sides. As long as, once I've cut the first one, I can actually solder two more wires to it I've got to say this stuff is really flat I mean it is super flexible just look at that considering this is going to give us light it's nothing like I've ever seen I mean it's just like rubbery strip with a self-adhesive backing on it this has been in a bag for quite a while so I don't hold that much hope for the self-adhesive backing but anyway I've put the aluminium channel up along here so let's stick this under We'll cut it to length and then we'll find out if it actually works. And then we're going to run the switches probably from the back cable. The cable could go on the inside of this panel down here. And that way we could have a switch there. You see how well thought out this is, can't you? <laughs> if I do it from here, this one, because I've got I'm gonna have a switch panel. Oh, let me tell you, you can't see what I'm doing. So this side, I'm going to have a switch panel here. There's going to be a big switch panel. So I think I will feed the live from this end to there, to that way. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And then when I put the panel up here, we can have a switch here to control this light. And when 
I'll do the panel on this side. When this panel gets filled in, I can put a switch there for this light on this side. Yeah, that way I could stand here and turn the light on in the bedroom area. I won't have to reach right up the back to turn the light on like I do in my sprinter. So yeah, I think that's a goer. Just stick this up under there like that. We'll leave these two wires sticking out that we can attach power to later on. It's definitely right to hit Mel. Right, let's see if I can get the backing off. Right, so put that. It sticks really well. That is super sticky. Right. I'll be back in a minute once I've done this. These LEDs aren't dimmable, I don't think. Unless anyone out there knows where I can get a dimmer switch for LEDs. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe I should ask at the next festival. There would be someone out there that knows this stuff. going to be really nice. Well done Becky, that was a good idea to do that. Yeah that was Becky's idea, it wasn't mine. I'm quite happy to, to just use those little round puck lights, you know the really boring ones. Like I say I've never actually used these LED strip lights before um, because I'm not sure how reliable they are because I've seen them in the past where you get the odd individual LED bulb go and I'm guessing to change these if they do go it's going to be a right pain but we'll see we'll see how it goes right now what's left over it's got this huge length left over um, I'm going to see if I can solder two wires on the end I'll see if I can actually use this for the other side as well I'm trying to get this hot to melt and then drop it on top where it's got to go. That's one. And the negative. The problem is getting the heat to transfer from the solder tip to the actual solder that you're trying to join. Can't get the heat to go through. Oh, there it goes. It goes all of a sudden. Oh, that's it. Is it going to stay? Is it going to stay attached? Yes. Great Scott. I think I might have done it. <gasps> yeah, I think it's done it. I think it's taken. Here you go. Look at that. So what I need to do now is put some heat shrink around this um, just to make sure it actually stays attached. But first, let's check it, see if it works. Let's get our battery. Let's see if this baby lights up. Will it work? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go, that's a first for me. I've never done that before. I'm quite chuffed with that. Just hope these wires never actually touch. How can I protect these? I think I'm going to put a bit of, um, what's it called? Epoxy resin. I'm going to put some epoxy resin over this just to make sure these never do come into contact with each other. Because if they do, it could potentially cause a fire. I don't think they should, but um, yeah, I'm going to epoxy it anyway. So I'm mixing up a tiny little bit of epoxy resin in here, in this bottle top, just to put on top of here. 
because I'm not too keen on these bare wires. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not. I'm just doing this in the hope that they don't come off. This is the epoxy resin I'm using. Rapid bond epoxy. As you can see, I've had this quite a while. I just want to put it between these cables just to ensure that they don't ever come into contact with each other. So, we'll wait for this to dry and then I'll put some heat shrink over it. There you go. My very first ever LED strip join. Right, let's have a look at the epoxy. That's dried. There you go. Look at that. Nice. Let's put some heat shrink on that to protect it. There we go. Look how professional that looks. Do you ever know, would you? If we repeat what we did on that side on this side oh i've already put the light strip in there that's what i've done with it i was looking for that that's that mystery solved it's already in there <laughs> i was looking for the diffuser couldn't find it and well, that's why because i'd already put it in There's actually a fly stuck to the sticky strip. Sorry, mate. Yeah. He's deceased, I think. Yes, sorry about that. It's not a fly strip. Again, we need to cut this now. Okay. Becky was making coffee. She's obviously put the kettle on, it's taken so long to boil, she's forgotten about it. <laughs> now for those of you that don't know, we're actually using a uh, diesel, we're using a diesel cooktop. Here it is here, look, Becky started cooking breakfast, she's got the eggs there all mixed up ready, the kettle's on, but Becky is nowhere to be seen. So we're going to turn this down. Move the kettle over there. Gee, she's filled that right up as well. No wonder it takes a long to pour it all. <laughs> right, we'll just leave that there now. When Becky's finished doing what she's doing, I think she's actually editing a video for her channel, Sacred Traveller. Let's go and have a look. She's probably hiding in the sprinter. You alright, love? How's yeah. it going? Um, Dad was just on the phone. Oh, hello. <laughs> wanted to know whether we we're going back tonight could we get him a toaster on the way home because oh, well. he's broken the toaster so toaster duties yeah. oh good right just thought I'd let you know I'm just creating a thumbnail for my video that's going out at three o'clock this afternoon that'd be good you uploaded on Saturday yeah okay. it's been working so oh, far I did, didn't I last week but I'm yeah <laughs> it was all right <laughs> yeah it worked out all right yeah, right just out. thought I'd let you know the kettle's boiled you're welcome that's it now we can put our strip that went missing. <laughs> so, all along. Get your battery. Make sure it still works. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm really pleased how that's going to end up looking. Now to stop myself getting confused on where all these wires go, I'll simply use masking tape right on there, what it's going to be, and then get those wires, wrap it around like that. So in three months time, when it comes to wiring it up, I know what the wires do. I hope it's not three months time. <laughs> what have you got? So he just oh, just God. found these tortilla wraps in his van. 
It looks like someone's been having a go at them. Somebody's living in with the van with me. So you've got a... I've got a friend. You've got a friend. Friend, finally. Friend. <laughs> oh, that's going to take some searching. Has anyone else experienced this? Mice in their veins? I know of one other person that's had a mouse in his vein. But how the hell do mice actually get into your van? No, I don't know. I, I don't even... There's no evidence there's a mouse in here. They must... It was on the shelf. Be a big mouse to get up those steps. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. How on earth? Yeah, he's definitely had a... He's had a munch on that, hasn't he? But where is he living? <laughs> but the thing is, I've not heard a mouse. Perhaps he just come and went again. Oh, what? Well, just helped himself to dinner and yeah, so disappeared. There's no evidence of him down there. Maybe in the walls, mate. He's made a nest inside oh, your insulation. Don't say that. Don't say that. You'd have to get a mouse trap. they got some mouse traps in Liddles. I think I'm going to need one, aren't I? Yeah, one of them clippy ones, you know, the nasty ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, shop, the ones that have no mercy. Per permanent dispatch. Where? It was on there, but it was underneath some other bits. So he's managed to find it. So he's living somewhere within the back area. So let's have a look up another garage and see if he's... If he's uh, hiding in the garage. Yeah, you're going to have to get a mouse trap, mate. I was going to buy some as well the other day, but I thought, oh no, because people might get upset if I buy some proper mouse traps. Well, I don't really want them living in the van. No. You know, I don't mind them living in the field or in and around the barn. But draw the line in the but, van. But I don't, you know. I don't think you see any mouse traps in anywhere. No, that's the, that is the weird thing. There's no, no evidence. Anywhere, it's one in, in here. There is no, there's no drop-ins anywhere. Oh, hang on, what's that there? Look, what is that signs? Of nope, no, that's me. Oh. Well, we'll have to uh, treat them to a um, a new dispatch system. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. I'm saying that if it is a female mouse, I'm yeah. in luck. <laughs> <laughs> So after much jiggling around, this should fit. Oh, that. <laughs> I'm really pleased how this is fitting except for this gap down here. So using a carpenter's pencil, I'm going to lay it on its side, scribe this line down here, take this panel back down and then cut down this line Removing this piece of timber, this will then fit flush against here. That's the plan anyway. There you go, have a look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm really pleased how well this has turned out. Good day's work. I've finished all the sides now. We've got our back panel done as well. All in all, a successful day. And I'm really, like I say, I am chuffed how this has turned out. But what does Rebecca think? Let's find out. Look over there, look. Now look behind you. Oh, that looks really good. You like that? Yeah. It's silent, so it must be good. <laughs> <laughs> I really love it. Yeah, it's right, don't it? Yeah, it's lovely. So there you go, folks. Hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'm sure you'll find this video just as entertaining. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra for now. Say bye, Becky. Bye, Becky. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the lovely Rebecca's channel. Sacred Traveller.